Hey, it's Risa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen for another Tool Tuesday. Uh, last week I gave you tips on how to buy and how to clean corn. You'll, if you haven't seen that video, it'll be in the card for you. Um, but since I did Tip Tuesday last week, I thought I would do corn tools. I've got a lot of, I've got vintage ones. I've got more current and also current. And um, so I thought I would talk to you about the tools I have and how to use them and how, uh, you know, and uh, what to do with them and what I like about them, okay? And um, that'll be Tool Tuesday. And then next week I will give you some tips on what to do with your corn once you've got it cooked and cleaned or okay okay so these are the tools for tool tuesday this week we're talking corn of course so uh i wanted to start with these cool vintage tupperware butter huggers that's what they're called butter huggers they hold about two tablespoons of butter there. You put some salt in here. You lock it in. All right. And then you take your corn. Obviously, I didn't clean this. I didn't uh, take these cor this corn apart yet. Um, okay. All right. As you saw last week, easy way of cleaning your corn okay and then when it's cool when it's um when it's ready and it's on the table right you have your butter in here you just go like this boom 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 all the way down it fits right over the ear and you just go down it's genius whoever created this in the 70s for because that's when it's from the 70s they sold them in sets with uh, a little butter tray or some other thing for the corn, something to hold the corn. Um, my mother had this set, I think. I know she bought a lot of Tupperware stuff. I still have quite a bit of it. And uh, there was a little corn-shaped little tray that held, that held the corn on the kitchen, you know, when you were served when you put it on the table. She bought a set of the little corn plates and then we'd take our butter thing and go like this. And then when you were finished, of course, when you buttered, then you, you know, took your salt and you went boom, 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 boom. All right, so that's one thing. A really genius idea, okay? All right, the next one is this from Xylus. I don't know what they call it. But it's a, it takes the kernels off. I'm not going to take this um, safety thing off because it's very sharp. I am a klutz. And I will do something stupid and bleed all over the, under the camera. So um, what I do think that they should do, the folks from Xylus, is sell this with something to hold the corn. So what you do is you remove this plastic thing and you... Get the serrated edge under the corn, and you just pull it down, and it takes off all the kernels. It does a great job, but with people like me, who's a clut, who are klutzes, you also cut yourself badly. So I don't use this anymore. I bought it several years ago. I don't know if they still sell them. If they do, they sell something like it, hopefully a little less sharp, to and so you don't hurt yourself. Um, I found over the years that this is a better idea. Now, this is a tip that I should have added to my last video, but I did not. All right, take your flat end. You put it on a small bowl inside of a big bowl. I got this idea originally from Rachel Ray's show, but I've also seen it some other people on um, some other people on Facebook on Facebook on um, the Food Network have also used this one and it's a very good idea you just you just put it on and then you take your a very sharp knife and you cut down and see where the kernels go they don't go all over the floor 
right? Or all over your counter. They go right into the bowl. See that? That's a really, really good idea. Okay? And then, of course, ways of... And then there's another way of buttering. All right? This one is more modern. You can find this in any store. They sell them right there on the side. You know, like on attached with little clips right next to the corn. You take your stick of butter. You unwrap it and you stick it in, all right? And then, also it has like a ridge that fits right over the corn. And then you just go down the corn. It's called a butter spreader, okay? Supposedly Tupperware still sells something like this that they still call the butter hugger. But I didn't see it in the latest catalog online. But supposedly they do. So if you still shop, Tupperware parties, get yourself a few. You won't be sorry. But if not, I found these at the flea market, 25 cents a piece. Okay? So there's either the butter spreader or the butter hugger. Excellent tools for buttering your cobs. And my last thing, of course, is something we all know and we've all had since we were children. All right? The little uh, things that you stick in the side here. All right, this is great for especially little kids, but also if you don't want to burn your, you know, you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to get all hot for right off the grill. All right, to serve them. I, sometimes I serve them with the things inside of them. Sometimes I serve these on the side to give people options. All right, another great tool so that you can eat it. Yeah, okay. And those are my tools for buttering corn, serving corn, cutting the corn off the cob. And I hope that that was helpful. So those are my tools. I hope you like them. Um, my favorite, of course, is the butter hugger. Um, and um, if you want more information on any of these items, they'll be in the notes. So I hope you liked the video. And if you have any tools for corn that I don't know about, put it in the comments and I'll look them up. Um, and that would help, wouldn't it? Um, so, uh, so if you like this video, please click like, press subscribe, and click that little bell. And thanks for coming into my kitchen. Bye.